Okay, so our parents have calmed down. Jelly Bean's asleep, and I'm filled with dread. Yeah, me too. Jug, if the auteur got into the house, that means he's probably been inside many times before. Definitely. And given the supposedly privileged information he seems to have about us and our friends, maybe he's been doing a lot more than just watching. Like what? Listening? Wait, you? Same. Who likes to bug phones? And who else would have the resources and abilities to kill Joan in the outside world and the connections to kill Brett inside prison? We have to go back to the house. Fun times, Cooper. Got your message. Thanks for coming, Charles. I found your bug. On the phone. Same kind he gave me to use on the Stonies. You got sloppy. Or overconfident. Or maybe I wanted to be caught. Just waiting for you to catch up to me. You've been listening to our phone conversations since Halloween, if not before. Yes, but only to protect you, Betty. You killed Joan and Brett. Don't lie to me. I'll know. I did, yes. And you tried to kill Donna, but she slipped away. Why? Donna and her friends committed a heinous crime and got away with it. I, it didn't sit well with me. Brett didn't get away with it. He was in prison. Brett was odious. Yes, he was. You know, it took us a second to figure out how you did it. Killing Brett in prison. But then it made so much sense. Your boyfriend, Chick, killed him. I love you, babe. I love you, too. That's what Brett was going to tell us, that you and Chick were still in deep. True love knows no boundaries. I'm gonna guess that Joan and Brett aren't the only people you've killed. That's correct. How'd you guess? Because you taught me everything I know about serial killers. Because that's what you are, isn't it, Charles? You're so good at identifying us. But I was your blind spot. And I only kill people who deserve it. Horrible people who hurt those that I love. <sighs> Betty, I'm putting myself in your hands. You're going to prison for the rest of your life. You're coming with us, and you are going to confess to all of your crimes, including the videotapes. No, no, I'm not the auteur. Yes, you are. You killed David, you made it look like a suicide, and then you framed him as the auteur because we were getting too close. <laughs> well, yes, I, I killed David. But he was a degenerate who helped scumbags like Brett but I'm not behind the videotapes. Then who is? <sighs> Kinda teach you what I'd be if I just gave you the answer, baby brother. You'll figure it out. I have no doubt. <laughs>